So in today's lesson, we are going to be exploring the idea of main idea. Now, main idea is the most important idea about a topic. It's the big idea. It's what that topic is mostly about. We talk about main idea a lot when we talk about nonfiction texts. Main idea is what that text is all about. What is that book trying to teach us about? What is it trying to get us to learn? That's the main idea. Now, when we talk about main idea, we have these supporting details, right? The information, the facts that support what that main idea is all about. And that's where the idea of this chair comes into play. We can't have a main idea without supporting details because then it's just a fact. But when we have these supporting details, we have information that supports our claim, right? Um, think about researchers. When researchers have an idea, they can't just come out and say, hey, here's some new information for you because people around are gonna say, how do you know that that's true? So having those supporting details are going to help you to really say, here's what this book is talking about. Here's what I know and here's why. So supporting details answer some of these questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how, right? Those big W questions and that extra H. So asking us who's involved, right? Where is this taking place? Why is this taking place? When did it happen, right? Those are the big questions that we're trying to ask ourselves. Now, there are some tips to help that we can use to help us find main idea. The first is read the title. The title is going to give us a pretty good idea about what that book is going to be about, right? Or what that passage or article we're reading about, what it's going to be about. It may not tell us exactly, but it's going to give an, us an idea about what we're thinking about, right? Where should our head be leading us? Next, read the subheadings, right? Those headings and subheadings are going to give us a good idea about what some of those important topics we're going to learn about are. So yesterday we read the Jungle Book, right? And it's all about the survival guide, okay? Survival guide has learned a lot of things. But when we start to look at some of the subheadings, right, the general dangers, finding food, fire, then I start to get some more ideas about, okay, here's what I'm going to be learning about. Look at the first or last sentence. The first and last sentences of passages, articles can be very telling to what that article is going to be about. Sometimes people ask questions. Right? What was the leading question? Some people sometimes just come right out and say their opinion or say a fact. Okay? So the first and last sentence can be really telling. And last, ask yourself this question. What is this text about? What is it trying to teach me? Authors write nonfiction texts for a reason, right? And that reason usually is to inform us about something, to teach us about something. So what, why did they write this, right? What are they trying to teach me about? So as we read through some books, we're going to be looking for the main idea, what that book is about. What is it trying to teach us? But before we do that, we're going to put the main idea practice to the test with some pictures. So here, I have some images on the screen. Our job is to figure out what the main idea is. What are these pictures trying to tell us? Now the challenge here is there's no words. So we're gonna have to really think hard about this, but there are some choices. It's multiple choice, so that makes it a little bit easier. Are you ready for our first one? We see an X, a shovel, a map, and a pirate. It says, what is the main idea, right? So we're trying to think, what is this text all about? One, X marks the spot. Two, pirates live on a boat. Or three, pirates look for buried treasure. What do we think the main idea is here? 
their name we can just mark right off. Yeah, pirates live in a boat. Mark it off. Let's look at choice number one. X marks the spot. Well, yeah, it's right here. X marks the spot. But is that what all of these pictures are telling me? No. X marks the spot is one of the supporting details. The main idea here is three. Pirates look for buried treasure. Right? That's what this is about. The X marks the spot is one of those details. Let's try another one. Okay, here we see, hmm, see m and Cersei's Kisses, maybe lollipops, hmm. All right, so here's our choices. Number one, Skittles is the best candy. Two, there are many different types of candy. And three, candy has a lot of sugar. Hmm, what do you think? What are you thinking? Yeah, it's not one, right? Skittles are the best. Can That's an opinion, right? Something's the best. It's an opinion. Yeah, three is, it, it's a fact about candy, right? Candy has a lot of sugar, but that's not what these pictures are trying to teach us. You're right. It's number two, right? There are many different kinds of candy, right? We're sh being shown here many different kinds of candy. Very good. Okay. We see a tree, a grass, a mushroom, a flower, oh, a pine tree. What is the main idea? One, there are many different kinds of plants. Two, trees grow outside. Three, the grass is green. What do you think the main idea is here? Very good. Number one, there are many different kinds of plants, right? Trees grow outside. That's a fact about trees, and it's something we might learn in this text. But trees growing outside doesn't have anything to do with all these pictures. And same with the grass is green. Yes, the grass is green, but that doesn't tell me anything about the mushroom or the flower or the trees, right? So we're talking about everything all together. What is the main idea? Snow cones are made of ice. Snow cones come in many different flavors. My favorite snow cone is green. What is the main idea here? Right, snow cones come in many different flavors, right? So we're seeing that there's blue and yellow, pink, purple, orange, green, all these different flavors, right? Me saying, oh, you know what, the green one is my favorite. That's an opinion, okay? And also snow cones are made of ice. That's a great fact and probably something we'll read about in this article, but it's not what the picture is trying to show me. Hmm. What is the main idea here? One, chicks like lemons. Two, many different things can be yellow. Three, lions lay in the sun. Hmm. Well, do we actually know if chicks like lemons? I've never seen a chick eat a lemon, have you? So it's probably not that. Well, I know lions like to lie in the sun, but does, is that the main idea? Is that what this everything's about? So you're right. Many different things can be yellow, right? So we're looking at all of these different things and we're seeing what they have in common, right? Is that they're all yellow. Very good. Okay. Band-Aid, a doctor, a stethoscope, a needle, an x-ray. What is the main idea? One, doctors can use many different tools. Two, I got a shot at the doctors. Three, 
The nurse gave me a band-aid for my knee. What's the main idea here? Right, doctors use many different tools. And so here we're being shown the doctor and all the different tools that they use, right? Getting a shot at the doctors, that's a fact, right? They're using one of the tools, but getting a shot has nothing to do with an x-ray. And the nurse gave me a band-aid for my knee. If you scraped your knee, she probably did. And that's the nurse using one of those tools. But again, that doesn't have anything to do with the stethoscope, right? She's not listening to your heart at that point. So doctors use many different tools is what's the main idea here. And the other two facts might be some supporting details we read about as we're learning about some of the different tools. Okay. Satellite, a rocket ship, an astronaut, a planet. What is the main idea? We live on planet Earth. Astronauts go into space. There are many different things in space. Okay. Hmm. Main idea. Well, we do live on planet Earth, right? Is that what this is trying to teach me about? No. Astronauts go into space. Is that what this is trying to teach me about? Maybe. There are many different things in space. This one's tricky. What do you think? You think it's there are many different things in space? Why do you think that? Uh, because the picture is showing me all of the different things that I can see in space. I like your thinking. All right, a sun, a shovel, a watering can, and a flower. What is the main idea? Plants need many things to grow. Plants like water. Plants are outside. Hmm. Well, plants do grow outside and they, they do like water, so maybe it's one of those. Hmm. Do you think it's the first one? Plants need many things to grow. Well, they do need sun. They do need to be in the ground. They do need light. I think you're right. I mean, if they're not in the ground, right? They do have to be in soil for nutrients. All right. Well, I think that is the end. Excellent work there. You guys did a really great job identifying the main idea out of those pictures, right? Finding the most important ideas, what that text is mostly about. But that time we used pictures. So I think we're ready to step this up a notch and read a book. What do you think? I think so too. All right, let me give you a choice. Which one should we read today? Can I be in the bear club or why can't I sleep? Let's do why can't I sleep? Hmm, why can't I sleep? Ajahn is a sloth bear. Ooh, a big multit word. I guess my dog doesn't like sloth bears too much. That was my dog, Winnie. He lives in a forest at the foot. Ooh, foot is underlined. Where do you think I can find underlined words? What text feature could help me? You're right, the glossary back here in the back of the book. Oh, here, see here, foot, the lowest part. Okay. He lives in the forest at the foot of the mountains in India. Okay, so at the lowest part of the mountains in India. Ajahn is very happy here. He likes the warm weather and the flowers that grow in his forest. Ajahn loves to walk in his forest, listen to music, and read his book. He is very proud of his book collection. 
It's got a lot of books. I would be really proud of that book collection too, wouldn't you? All right, collection. Oh, another underlined word. A number of objects gathered together. Ajun has books on cooking, singing, butterflies, birds, and even bears. Sounds like he has lots of nonfiction books, doesn't it? There is only one problem. His books say that bears go into a long, deep sleep in winter. The sleep is called hibernation. Give me a thumbs up. Have you ever heard of that word before? Hibernation? Hmm. Let's see. Hibernation is the time that a plant or animal spends asleep in the winter, right? So we know that lots of animals hibernate, including bears. This is confusing to Ajahn. It is winter here right now. I must have forgotten to hibernate. Ajahn wants to be like the other bears. I understand that, right? Wanting to feel the same as other bears. He decides that he will try to hibernate. Ajahn puts on his favorite pajamas and leaves a note for Anik, the milkman that says, leave milk, I'm hibernating. Then he hops into bed. Good night, Ajahn. Hmm. But Ajahn can't sleep. He lies in bed, watching the sun and listening to the birds. You know, I'm kind of making a connection to this book, right? A connection from the book to myself. Because sometimes I have trouble falling asleep too, right? And I will just lay in the bed and I might listen to the noise of the crickets and the frogs they can hear outside. And it's really hard to fall asleep sometimes. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, so you too might be able to make a connection to a jeune, right? You're, you have something in common. You've experienced something before. He decides that something to eat might help him hibernate. Ooh, good choice. Sometimes when I have trouble falling asleep, I also get something to eat or drink. Hot cocoa can be really helpful. Let's see what he eats. What do you think? Let's make a prediction. What do you think Ajun might get? Hmm. Ooh, all good ideas. I don't know. Are you ready to see what he gets? Ajun loves snacks, so he has one. Then he drinks some warm milk because Anik told him it helps with sleep. Oh, I heard quite a few of you predicted he would get warm milk. Way to go. Good predictions. He even listens to soft music, but he still can't sleep. Ajun tries some other ways to get sleepy. He tries counting sheep. Have you ever tried to count sheep when you get tired? Oh, I tried some too. He tries meditating. Ooh, meditating, right? We we practice some meditation through mindfulness, right? Ooh. Let's do that right now. Let's see if we can do a little minute of meditating. Maybe our meditating will help him to sleep. So ready, we're gonna do just a minute of meditating where we close our eyes and do some deep breathing in and out. Sometimes with my deep breathing, I like to add in some stretches. We might try stretching up. Stretch. 
stretching out, stretching back, leaning our head one way, and the other way, and touching our chin to our chest, and leaning it back. And you can reach down and try and touch your toes. And twist. Feeling a little bit looser? Feeling a little sleepy yet? Let's see how Jim's doing. He tries running laps around his garden. Hmm, I've never tried that before. Hmm, but I can hear my Winnie. That's my dog, she's snoring, so she must not be having any trouble sleeping. But he is still not sleepy. Ugh, why can't I hibernate, Cytogen? He was very unhappy. Was he even a real bear if he couldn't hibernate? He was so upset that he didn't see a mink arrive to deliver milk. Um, excuse me said an ache, but why are you in the garden in your pajamas? That seemed kind of strange. A jeune told an ache that he was trying to hibernate because that is what all bears were supposed to do in the winter. Ah, I see, said an ache. Don't worry, a jeune. The bears that hibernate live up in the mountains where it is very cold during the winter. You don't have to hibernate because it is warm here for most of the year. I don't need to hibernate, said Ajun. That's right, said Anique. Just because other bears hibernate doesn't mean that it's right for you. Ajun was so happy. I'm still a normal bear. He just didn't need to hibernate like some other bears in India. How unlucky for them not to live in a warm, cozy place like my home. Ajun was so relieved, he decided to take a nap. The end. Awesome. All right, and at the end we can check in, there's that glossary and index. So, if we try and find, let's see if we can figure out what's the main idea. What is this text mostly about? Hmm. What's it about? What's it trying to teach us about? You know, it's about bears. He lives in India. He's a sloth bear. And he likes to read books. And he tries going to sleep, but he can't. So he tries lots of different ways to get to sleep. Like listening to music and having snacks and meditating. Hmm. What's, this, what's the main idea here? We're looking for the big idea. So let's see if we can use some of these tips. Read the title. Why can't I sleep? Read the subheadings. Well, unfortunately, this book didn't have any subheadings. Look at the first or last sentence, okay? A jeune is a sloth bear. That's the first sentence. Here's our last sentence. A jeune was so relieved, he decided to take a nap, okay? And ask yourself, what is the text about? You're right, this text was all about bears hibernating, right? And trying to figure out how to hibernate, right? So this book was teaching us about hibernation with bears, right? And that not all bears have to hibernate. Hmm, we learned that here, right? I didn't know that not all bears hibernated. We learned something new today. Nonfiction books are great for teaching that.
right? So our main idea what the text is mostly about, right, is bears hibernation, right? We're learning about bears and hibernation. And here we're trying, we can see some of these facts, right? We're learning about that it only happens with bears who live in these higher climates. We learn that not all bears hibernate because they don't live in the cold climate. Now, books like this can be a little bit challenging to find main idea because this was written not so much in a fiction sense, in a nonfiction sense, but more in a fiction sense of a book. So we will continue to practice finding the main idea in different books. But today you guys did an excellent job exploring main idea and really getting into it. Main idea can be really tricky because it requires us to look at the book, to look at all of the details and pick out the most important thing, which can be really hard because sometimes we don't always know what is the most important thing. And that's where using those text features can help. Looking at the bolded words, looking at the title, looking at the headings that we have, right? We talked earlier this week about some of those text features, right? Pictures, captions, different types of prints, diagrams. Using those can be really helpful when it comes to talking about main idea. And so that's what we'll explore the next time that we meet together. Until then, I hope that you have an excellent rest of your day. I hope that you get a chance to do something fun and explore your world a little bit and maybe even explore a nonfiction text. But until I see you again next time, I hope that you guys are having awesome fun out there and learning really, really hard. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you again next time. Bye everybody. in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.